Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dawn, and I'm back from hiatus. <laughs> um, ooh, <laughs> I'm so annoying, but I liked how I did my going on hiatus video. Um, and so I basically wanted to continue doing videos like that and talk a little bit more in my videos because I've been meeting people to talk to, you know? Well, anyways, I wanted to talk about the Nicki Minaj situation because I never really, like, expressed myself on social media about that situation. I mean, I've been trying to on different, like, forum, like Twitter threads and things like that. But, like, at the end of the day, that's, uh, like... <laughs> I don't know like that's just twitter and i just wanted to speak about it and i thought it would be good youtube content so if you don't know uh, a week ago Nicki minaj was trend trending because she talked about the jab and a lot of people had a lot to say about it and i'm gonna break this video up into three videos because while i was on this hiatus i was drawing Nicki a lot she tends to help me like go through what i'm going through um, her music tends to help me go through what I'm going through. And, you know, she she's really, like, inspirational to me. You know, I've grown up listening to her music, watching her documentaries, going to her concerts. I'm a fan. <laughs> but, like, just because I'm a fan does not mean I don't hold her accountable for her actions. Um, and it doesn't mean that, like, she's exempt from certain things that I don't agree with like you could be a fan of somebody and still hold them accountable and still enjoy their you know content and music you just gotta understand that everything they do isn't exempt from consequences like she may be a celebrity and she may have been able to help me get through a lot of things in life through her music, but that doesn't mean she's exempt from critique and being, you know, criticized. And that's just how I feel. Um, that's just my opinion and everybody's entitled to their own, <laughs> but keep it respectful. Um, so I wanted to talk about the fiasco that happened when she tweeted about her cousin's friends private parts <laughs> like that was so funny and I was surprised well not really because I've been peeping how the media like the blogs and everything will be in like things that Nikki does like it'd be so weird like as a barb just watching how the media like kind of watches her like I get that's their job and they watch every celebrity but I think it's kind of weird how like anytime she tries to be sorry for that noise change but anytime she tries to be like intimate with her like barbs and like you know answer their questions and everything how the media gets like on it like I get that's their job but like it's kind of it's kind of weird like it's kind of weird and I say that because like people usually like tell the barbs that they're crazy they're annoying da 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 like yeah idol worship da 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 and I'd be like all right if we're annoying why do you pay attention to us like leave us alone like keep us out your mouth whatever but um when she was tweeting about the the cousin's ball situation um it basically began by a barb asking her why she wasn't at the Met Gala or at the VMAs there was even some jokes saying that the VMAs was next to a truck and cheese which is true because it was downtown Brooklyn um and like everything with her husband it was just like like why was you there we wanted to see you we wanted to see what you wanted to wear and everything like that and she was basically like you had to be vaccinated to go to these places and I'm not vaccinated I don't need to be seen da 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 like basically explain like the reason she hasn't gotten vaccinated is because she's still doing her research um telling people like you know she will get vaccinated soon but you know she wanted to do more research about the vaccination and she didn't want to just jump right into it because she had COVID and she couldn't be next to her son and all this stuff like you know basically throwing a little pity party like if you know Nikki this is things that she do all the time like as a fan these are the things that she do and she does make p good points um but when she got to the cousin's bowl situation, I was like, this girl, 
I took it as a joke. I think other barbs took it as a joke. But I think that joke went over a lot of people's head. And like, I feel like the media kind of drug it out. So like, she basically said one of her cousin's friends took the vaccine and he was about to get married. But then he became impotent and his ball swelled and the girl called off the wedding, which sis been looking for a way to get out of the <laughs> the relationship if that was the case. But anyways, um, when she tweeted that, I literally thought it was a joke. I was like, girl, how outlandish is this? Like, and I think other people also took it as a joke, but not the media. The media was like, oh, not you talking about our vaccine. When I tell you they ripped her a new one. And it was weird because it wasn't like she didn't tell her fans to not take the vaccine. And the evidence was there. Like, it's not like she deleted her tweets or anything like that. It was all there. But the way the media made it seem like she was like, don't take the, like the, the way, I don't know who that lady was, but she kept calling her Uncle Tamiana. So I'm gonna call her that too. Uncle Tamiana and Don Lemon disappointed the hell out of me because I hate when black people do that black people should be more aware of their um what they put out to their fans and I'm like child shut up like I was so disappointed so Uncle Tamiana was like Nikki you got two 22 million fans how would you tell them not to get vaccinated I'm like what like she never said that she literally just tweeted about it if you actually read the tweet she was just telling her fans to do the research and do what you gotta do if you like if your job is requiring you to get vaccinated do what you gotta do like some of her fans was even telling her that she got they got vaccinated and she was like you know she might have to get vaccinated to go on tour because she wants to go on tour how did you get that to Oh, she's telling her fans not to get vaccinated. What the hell? That's not even what she did. And then Don Lemon talking about, you don't want to get vaccinated, but you got butt shots. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, she literally got a fast transplant and breast implant. And that those procedures have been out longer than this vaccine. Like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Like... The media dragged it and it was it wasn't necessary. Like it wasn't necessary at all. Because how y'all went from being pro choice to being like it needs it's an obligation. Like y'all all need to be vaccinated so we can get our life back on track as if you can't spread the disease with the vaccine. Like what the hell was wrong with y'all? Like what? Like people are still getting COVID with the vaccine. Like I don't I didn't know I, I was I was confused by what the media was trying to do with the situation because I'm just like first of all why are y'all comparing the vaccine to plastic surgery that was number one like plastic surgery has been around for years like years that means it's been extensively researched and people are still researching it and perfecting it um, stop comparing BBLs to a vaccination that literally came out a couple of months ago. Like, what? The vaccine came out early March. We've been in this pandemic for like almost two years. Where are y'all, where, what are y'all comparing? Like, BBLs been out for ages. Like, stop. And why y'all kept comparing, like, I, why y'all kept comparing plastic surgery to this vaccine? Like, what do you, oh, you doing research what you researching um the vaccine duh like y'all act like this isn't brand new like it takes years for a proper vaccine to be done correctly like I don't get why people were so surprised that that's something that people wanted to do and this is coming from a fully vaccinated person I got the vaccine because I didn't want to be restricted plus I hate the questions that you get with it now that's kind of irresponsible because I don't know what um is actually in the vaccine but I knew which ones I wasn't going to get because out of all the vaccines Moderna was the only one I didn't hear anything bad about <laughs> you know that was the one that was highly effective when it first came out which is you know why I took it I was like if I'm gonna be taking something I hope that it's you know effective at least even though people are still getting the you know 
COVID with it. Now, I haven't heard people with the Moderna one get it, but I, I that's neither here nor there. Um, anyways, but I didn't like how people were comparing BBOs to the vaccine. I damn sure didn't like how Don Lemon was like, if you don't have the vaccine, you're going to get left behind. Left behind on what? We going to space? What y'all know that we don't? Like, it's not, it's not something we should be divisive about. Like, at a time where our government really can't get it together, we shouldn't be fighting amongst each other over something like this. And we shouldn't be divided about something like this. Like, child, this vaccine conversation kind of got out of control. And it was something that really made me think about, like, what is the real reason they're pushing it so far? Because I really just think people should get it if they want it. If you don't get it, don't be mad when you can't do certain things or where certain things are implemented. But if you've been working at a job for like 20 years and your pension is at risk, baby, get the vaccine. Unless you actually have a medical condition that tells you you can't get it, like being pregnant, having cancer, lupus, um severe you know lung dysfunctions kidney dysfunctions don't get the vaccine especially if your doctor's telling you not to get it but like if you're perfectly fine and nothing's really stopping you from getting and you need that pension then get it you know don't don't hold it back from yourself like you got to do what you got to do you know at the end of the day but um yeah i think my drawing is almost done um part two is going to be about how the media used her husband's situation to humiliate her i kind of got my own opinion about it because i'm really mad she married that man not gonna lie i was like girl out of all the men you could have married she really has a terrible way of picking men i'm not even gonna front like all the men she's been with has a history of being kind of douchey and i'm just like she just I think it's a Sagittarius thing because child, she has a terrible time picking men. Like, what is wrong with you, girl? Um, but yeah, I think we're coming to the end of my drawing. Oh my god, I remember when she when I did this. This is for her "Beam Me Up" Scotty release. Oh my god, that was my first mistake. Listen to her. I listened to "Playtime Is Over," but like, best I ever had was what you know made me a fan, and then itty bitty piggy yeah that's what that's that's what got me to be a bar but like child she's been putting us through the ropes the ropes by choice though because you don't really have to follow nikki you don't even have to like her you could just listen to her music and call it a, a day just bop out to it and you know do what it do but the media definitely dragged it with this jab thing but i think i'm done um here's the final results Stay tuned for part two, where I talk about how the media used her husband situation. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah.